Mercenaries and Norman knights look dubiously at the ships that wobble in the black, fog-choked sea. What man is this Duke William to put so many horses on leaky transports? William ignores their questioning glances and stares across the channel in the direction of England. Edward the Confessor is dead, and now three men claim rulership of England. Harold the Saxon sits on the English throne and even now hastens to fortify his shores against two invasions. Harold Hadrada, king of Denmark and Norway, sends Vikings from the north as William invades from the south. The outcome of this three-way conflict is as murky as the fog that shrouds the English Channel. Harold the Saxon's Huskarls are professional soldiers, not mercenaries. William's only chance of defeating them is to use heavy cavalry, but to do so, he must first get all of these horses onto these unreliable boats. The future of England is about to be decided. Harold the Saxon's Huskarls looked certain to defend the crown for him as they fought the Vikings to a bloody stalemate at Stamford Bridge. Despite his losses, Harold marched his exhausted troops south to meet William the Conqueror near Hastings. William's archers and pikemen were no match for Harold the Saxon's veteran Huskarls. Harold even broke the charge of William's knights. William himself went down in the fray and as rumors of his death spread, the Normans turned to flee. But William was not dead, and he rallied his troops by throwing aside his helmet so they could see his clean-shaven face and know he was alive. William and his armored knights rode down the Huskarls, breaking the Saxon force, and continued their ride all the way to London. William was crowned king on Christmas Day, because his reign eventually ushered England into a position of unprecedented world leadership, the year 1066 became established as the most famous date in English history.